for over 100 years, ever since uh, you know, the invention of the telegraph, there have been what's called common carrier requirements. And those requirements are just saying, you have to treat everybody the same. That's always been telecommunications policy. It was always policy with the telegraph. Everybody gets treated the same. Back in 2005, they said those regulations don't apply to this new category of company, which is information companies, which is what they called internet service providers. So those common carrier requirements, they're exempt from those. Now, if they wanted to, they might be able to slow down certain people's communication, speed up other people's communication. And the net neutrality principles are really just trying to translate that simple principle that everybody should be treated equally on our communication networks into the internet. That it's, that's all it is. What is it, but what is it you want from AT&T? What do you want? They are gatekeepers to the internet, right? So the, all the communications that flow over the internet, some of that flows through their pipes. And what we want them to do is remain neutral about that content, who's sending it, who's receiving it, what's going back and forth, so that the communication over the internet is, is unimpeded. This is, this, is really, this is really about maintaining a free market. This is very much free market principles. How so? Well, what we're saying is we're, we don't want the internet gamed in such a way that the incumbent corporations can gain an, a permanent and unfair advantage over future competitors. But you're, you're, taking, away the, um, you're taking away the business of these big corporations and people no, that work not. for them. No, absolutely not. In fact, I would say that following net neutrality principles AT&T will be a more profitable company in the long run than it will by adopting this sort of tiered pricing structures and attempting to basically extract monopoly rents out of their existing business. I think it's short-sighted. What does that have to do with the Beastie Boys? Well, they own AT&T stock, uh -huh. and they're interested in the issue of net neutrality, and AT&T is one of the largest internet service providers in the country. So they're the, a logical place to, to raise this issue. And as shareholders, oh. they think they would be more profitable in the long run. And we're quite sure that the overall economy would, be, would generate more profits as a whole if the internet were allowed to operate as it has with net neutrality principles. That's what I want, that's what Mike D wants, that, that's what our, the shareholders we represent want. Dear CEO, keep it going as usual. Signed us. Yeah, keep it fair. Keep the playing field level. That's all we're asking. Just looking at me, do you think that maybe I could be a CEO of a company like that? <laughs> if it's not too much to ask, maybe uh, you could be a reference for me for a promotion? <laughs> Absolutely.